Hey guys, in this session we're going to be looking at how to calculate the gradient of a function at any given x value. So these are the four questions that we're going to be looking at. Uh, what I've actually done is I've actually um, put a Desmos graph right next to the question so you can actually see what we're trying to figure out. So let's get started with the first question. So with the first question, what we're asked to do is find the gradient when uh, f of x equals to 4 and where x equals to 1. So basically all, uh, the red uh, graph that you actually see here that's the x to the power of 4 and the green dot is where x is equal to 1 and blue is the gradient at that particular um, function right so we need to actually figure out what the gradient of that blue line is now to, to do that what we're going to do is we're going to differentiate the uh, function so we're going to get f dash of x first and when we work out f dash of x we're going to get uh, 4x to the power of 3 now it's actually asking what is the gradient when x is equal to 1. So all we're going to have to do is we are literally the question is asking you for what is f dash of 1. So in other words what you have to do is replace the x with a 1 and actually solve it. And when you solve this, uh, in this case you're going to get 4 times 1 to the power of 3 is just 4. It actually tells you that the gradient is going to be 4. Now and I know that this is uh, just to kind of quickly check at it. I mean if you have a look at it at this particular line you can kind of see that it, the run is 1 and the rise is 4 and so we can actually see that the gradient is actually 4 all right now uh, you know we're not in calculus you're not expected to show this diagram here uh, I'm just showing it so that you guys can actually make sense of where I get um, the answer from okay so let's have a look at another question so question 2 is we've got uh, you know, y is equal to 6x minus 3x squared and x equals 2, we want to work out what the gradient is. So once again, you can see that the red parabola there, which is upside down, and the reason is upside down is because of that minus 3x squared. Uh, and so what we're going to do, we're going to differentiate. Um, we're going to differentiate it as y dash is equal to 6x. When you differentiate, you're going to get 6, and then you've got minus 6x. Now, because we have, we want to find the gradient of when x equals to 2, um, so what you can do is, and, and I guess this is why um, writing it f dash of x is really neat, because what you could then do is you can just go f dash of 2 and then substitute to find out what the gradient is. But in this case, we might just have to write um, a little statement at x equals to 2, uh, y dash is equal to 6 minus 6 times 2. So we're going to get 6 minus 12 and then gradient is equal to negative 6 for this case. So that's question number 2 there. Uh, and then let's have a look at another type of question where there's a fraction involved. So this is question 3 here. And um, actually I want to just quickly go back to question 2 just to kind of check whether we're on the right angle. Sorry, right angle. Right track right because if you look at it the gradient is actually minus 6 and if it's minus 6 then that line should be pointed down quite steeply and if you look at question number one it was uh, 4 the gradient was 4 so that means it is actually going up it's rising up so it's another quick way to check whether your gradient is uh, on the right track or not so let's get to this uh, next question here we've got f of x so we're gonna have to split the the uh, function first into x squared over 2 minus 1 over 2. So at this point we're going to have to differentiate it so we're going to get f dash of x is equal to 2 um, well I think I'm just going to kind of do this quickly guys so we're going to get that as 2x over 2 minus half. Um, now again go back to um, one more video in this uh, in this series I think it's called differentiation of polynomials part 2 and I go through how to differentiate fractions but anyway we are gonna get f dash of x is equal to the two twos they are gonna cancel out each other and the minus half I shouldn't have actually put the minus half there because when you differentiate half you actually get zero so I don't have to worry about it so at this point f dash of x then is just x by itself but if you go to the question, the question is actually asking you where the curve crosses the y-axis. Now the y-axis is right here. All right, And because the y-axis is there, we can actually say that the x value on the y-axis is equal to 0. So we are really looking for what is uh, f dash of 0. That's what we're looking for in this question. So we're going to go in 
and we're going to substitute 0 and when we do substitute 0 we actually get the gradient is equal to 0. Now just kind of checking whether we're on the right track if the gradient is 0 then that gradient line should be a flat line and as you can see it is therefore we are on the right track. Okay let's go to question 4. So question 4 what we have is we've got f of x 2 minus x cubed uh, as you can see that's the cubic that's the red line there and we are asked to find it at the point 2 negative 6. Now 2 negative 6 is right here. All right so as usual the first step we're gonna do is we're gonna differentiate so we're gonna figure out what f dash of x is. Now the 2 uh, let me actually put down 2 minus x cubed first and so f dash of x now when I differentiate 2 it becomes 0 and then negative x cubed it will become negative 3x squared. Now I don't need to worry about the negative 6 because the negative 6 if you think about it that's the y value the x value is 2 so the only thing that I really care about is that 2 there because to find a gradient um, at, um, at a point you, you need the x value you can do it with the y value which will be in the next video and I'll show you guys how to do that but in this case we just we definitely need the x value so then we're gonna say f dash of 2 equals minus 3 times 2 squared so we're gonna get negative 3 multiplied by 4 and what we end up getting is a gradient of negative 12 that means this blue line is extremely steep and it's also going down okay all right guys uh, that's basically it for this video as always don't forget to like this video share this video and subscribe to keep up with the latest content there should be some playlists popping up check them out and as always thank you for watching